Hey what's up guys, it is Saiku or Sam here and welcome back to another video guys and today we're gonna be talking about the best sources for learning programming and indie game development. And guys if you enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like down below and also hit subscribe if you want to stay up to tune for cool content like this one and also hit me up in the comments about what you want to see in the next video and let's get started with this. So as you guys might know some people learn on their own and some people like learning through guidance. Most people do learn by either way and it should be fine but most people just prefer going with one single way so that they can actually focus on it and learn the best way possible and by guidance I simply mean that you either have like a website which is going to guide you through all these steps that are necessary for you to learn programming or else you have like a teacher who's going to talk you through just like a website would technically do um, but the teacher is obviously going to either describe the steps verbally or through like Skype or whatever software you're using in order to learn. And then there are people like me who like to go a little bit more alone, meaning that they either search up the steps by themselves or read it through a few guys and be like, well, I can pick this up and then pick this skill up and then acquire all these different skills and then learn by myself and make a game and see how it works. And there is absolutely no right or wrong. I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys hey you should go alone or hey you should you know find a teacher I'm basically going to teach you or at least try to teach you the mentality that I have so that you can actually be a little bit more open-minded when you're picking one of these options there has been a lot of people who have been asking me throughout my years where basically which kind of platform I use to learn and how, how I learned programming in in general and how I got into game development and basically what I always tell people really ignorantly is the fact that I just use YouTube which is true like to an extent because I also use Google and I use Unity's forms to learn C sharp in Unity and also how to learn Unity but for the most part I literally use YouTube like there was literally no other website that I used which I paid for or like hired a teacher or whatever and like I mentioned in earlier in this video guys I am a lone wolf like I love being alone so and that's to an extent too like I still like lear learning in teams and having like group projects working in teams etc but I still like the feeling of working alone. On top of that, I also mean that I lear like learning by my own guides. Like literally what I did when I was trying to learn C Sharp, let's say C Sharp in Unity, what I did was literally just seek up a little bit of information about programming because I was completely new to it. Not completely, but you know, I had a little bit of uh, knowledge from VB. But anyway, I kind of just searched through a few information like what can be done in Unity, what are the limits, um, what should I learn first and foremost? And people were like, well, you can go with variables. And I was like, okay, I'm going to start with variables. And then I search up a little bit of information what you can use the variables for. Like, for example, in functions, you can edit all these variables that you create inside of your functions so that you can actually build a proper uh, meta structure for your game. And I was like, okay, next up, I'm going to learn functions. And by doing so, I simply enjoyed myself a lot more while learning rather what I would do when I had like, like hired a teacher if I were to go on to a different website and pay a little bit of money to learn which I'm okay with like paying the money is not a problem for me but the fact that they were going to guide me and boss around and be like hey you should learn this now I, I don't want to have that kind of restriction for myself because that's just not my style if you're the type of person who learns through guidance you need somebody who's going to sit beside you and be like hey you should learn this now it's completely fine it doesn't mean that you're worse or better or anything and it doesn't mean that I am better or worse for that matter it's just up to you and how your style is built speaking of which let's get into a little bit of sources that I was talking about and like I said before I learned almost everything that I know today by YouTube and that's simply because YouTube is a fantastic learning platform where you can basically watch all these kinds of tutorials whether it be game development programming level designing Photoshop you know whatever literally everything is on YouTube and the important part is that you have to know what to search for if you know what you want to learn next and if you know how you can guide yourself if you're like this lone wolf that I was talking about before 
you're gonna have an easy time working on YouTube by learning. And that's simply because there is a tutorial for almost everything you wanna search for, and it's just up to you what you actually wanna learn next. And what if you don't actually know what to search for? What do you do then? Here we have to get a little bit more into the details of this video, which is basically what kind of personality you own, which means that if you're a lone wolf, you're gonna know how to guide yourself and you're gonna enjoy doing it. If you're not a lone wolf and you need the kind of guidance you are seeking for, you need to have somebody or something like a guide online, a teacher, a mentor, a website which is going to teach you how to code to somebody or something, a source that will tell you what to learn next and what comes after that and after that it's going to have a, like, a variety of different steps laid in front of you so that you can actually keep a keep a track of what you're going to learn next. And in the description box of this video, guys, I'm going to link a few websites that I found very useful in my times. And I am in no way promoting these websites or sources for paid promotion or sponsorships. These are just honestly what I feel about these kind of websites that I am going to link in the description down below. However, it's going to be a little bit biased and there might be, I'm sure there are so many new websites that are popping up, which I am missing out on because I never, I, I don't want to say never because I tried, uh, tried some out before, but I've never actually gotten into them really seriously as I dig down into YouTube when I was learning because I mostly use YouTube and I mostly guided myself like I'm going to learn this now instead of having a website like that. But if you're the type of guy who wants to learn or girl who wants to learn through guidance, these websites should be very, very nice for you. And just so you guys are aware of this, almost every single one of these if not the every single one of these are going to cost a little bit of money like they're they mostly have trial periods that you can use and then they are going to charge you for a little bit of like a few bucks but and the prices def depend on the quality of the website too and the name that the website has like the branding so if you're up to paying that you can obviously check the description and if you feel like you need these guidances and you don't really want to hire a teacher, these websites are going to be useful for you. Speaking of which, I also want to get into, is it worth the price? Like this is a topic that a lot of indie developers ask themselves because obviously, you know, you don't start with a big budget and a lot of money in your pocket. But basically, I what I usually say is, if you feel like you're learning and enjoying your time, you're definitely not wasting money, you're investing and spending. And the same thing goes for a teacher. If you're gonna hire a teacher who's going to teach you how to code or start at a school that you're gonna pay money for learning how to code, if you're enjoying your time and you really genuinely feel like you're thoroughly learning how to code, you're not wasting any money, you're just investing for your future. And one strong suggestion by me to you guys is straight away, don't ever let people tell you you shouldn't do this or you shouldn't do that you shouldn't learn that way because it's better this way don't ever take that kind of feedback seriously i would never ever sit on my chair and be like you should never ever hire a teacher it's very useless because that's not up to me it's up to your style and up to you how you actually learn and the same thing goes for these different websites i would suggest you to check out youtube for some tutorials and learn how to code from youtube but I would also suggest you to check these websites out so that you actually have a variety of different options when picking. I don't want to be biased and I would say if even if you want to use YouTube and you're the type of person who wants to learn through guidance and you don't want to spend any money at all, you can still use YouTube and use a few guides online that you're going to find and I can actually link a few if you want me to which you can use in order to see what you should actually learn next and what kind of step comes after that you know if, in order to learn and have like a schedule for yourself and one last thing I want to state before ending this video guys even if you get a teacher even if you use a website that is going to guide you by like a time schedule and even if you're going to go to a school for learning programming specifically always always lay five steps ahead even if you're going to do a school learn by yourself at home try to get, pick up some guides try to pull up some of your exams that you have gone through like some of these documentations that you get from your professor or teacher or whatever kind of class you're going to even if you're learning by yourself at home don't give up don't be lazy when you're learning and be like, hey, this website told me to have like a break of five days before I get to programming again. Just lay a few steps ahead. It's going to help you always. And this is especially for those of you who go to schools for learning programming. 
because schools will teach you the basics of programming. They will never ever enter the incredibly advanced programming parts. You're gonna have to learn them by yourself. And if you don't do it from the beginning, from the start when you're actually at school, it's going to feel irrelevant when you actually get into it after you finish school and take your degree or whatever. And this is not only because I want you to stay ahead of your class and brag to your friends or anything like that, which you can absolutely do. <laughs> I always did it too, but you know, it's mostly because I want you to genuinely learn and thoroughly enjoy your time. Not only that, but also stay ahead of your class, stay ahead of your actual schedule so that you can learn a little bit more advanced and dig deeper when you actually have the chance of doing so. Because if you're going to a school, you're going to obviously spend a lot of your time into programming. So why not dig deeper than the basics you're going to get taught by school? And that was pretty much it for this video guys i hope you all enjoyed and found it helpful if you did guys make sure to hit the like button down below and also subscribe if you want to stay up to tune for new cool content like this one there's going to be a lot more level designs from now on too i promise you guys and there are going to be more tutorials i'm gonna start a few new series too i have a little bit of written down information that is a little bit classified for the moment but i'm gonna be sharing some of those information with you guys soon and also don't forget to hit me up in the comments down below regarding what video you would like to see next and with that being said i'll catch you guys in the comments see you guys peace out love you bye